Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, this video is going to be pretty interesting because I think I technically made a video like this before, but it was seven months ago. And technically, I didn't even do what I wanted to do in that video specifically. Now, if you're wondering what I'm referring to, I'm referring to that I want to do a trial today, but I wanted to do a specific cookie that I've technically done before, but I'm pretty sure it was because of a specific event that I really only mainly I basically mainly focused on the event part but not the trial part but we're going to be looking at chestnut cookies trial now do I have belief that we could get diamond rank I completely doubt it however there is a reason I actually want to do this trial and a couple others it's because it's Christmas time so I think it'd be very appropriate to do the Christmas related like you know holiday festive cookies and like I said I think I did a video on their trial before, however, I didn't, like, talk about their story or skill or costume or magic candy at all. All I did was just kind of play around, like, play around, play around with their trial, but didn't touch up on any of the important details. But, I'm gonna make this official today, that I'm gonna actually focus on everything I want to do. And also, I'm gonna add in a little something bonus. Like, I'm gonna add in, like, a bonus thing, because there's a little replay button here, where there was a cutscene with, uh, I'm pretty sure, both... Uh, this is chestnut, right? Yeah, chestnut cookie and pudding cookie. That I'm gonna try and like do it currently, and there's actually another part of the cutscene if I did, you know, if I do pudding cookies trial. But for now, before we actually start running into this, I'm going to go ahead and read off some of their skills. So first of all, well, their skills and story, but their story is that extra, extra, read all about it. Every morning at sunrise, Chestnut Cookie fixes his hat and has more holes than threads, straps a bundle of fresh newspapers to his trusty tricycle, hops on and pedals forth to start a brand new day. From street to street, from house to house, Chestnut Cookie greets every cookie with great cheer and a big smile. Sometimes, when the chilly evening wind sets in, he pauses in front of a warmly lit uh, I have a firehouse, a warmly lit house with a longing gaze, but the excited paddling begins anew, and there is a wall of article clippings chronicling <laughs> the adventures and wonders of the cookie world awaiting him at home. Chestnut Cookie may be wandering alleys and streets now, but one day, he's going to embark on his own adventure to see the world. And his main skill is that he delivers newspaper on tricycle. Newspapers appear at certain intervals. After collecting a certain number of newspapers, the cookie will ride on a tricycle and begin to deliver the newspapers. While riding the tricycle, the jump and slide button turn into throw and pedal buttons, respectively. Earn delivery points by throwing newspapers to the approaching houses. Repeatedly tap the, pedal, uh, pedal, the pedal button button to go. <laughs> Repeatedly tap the pedal button to go faster and deliver more newspapers in time. Level up for more delivery points. Now we can talk about the cute little adorable pet. Spiky. <laughs> He's just spiky. I, I don't know why, I think they're just adorable. But here's the thing. When Spiky curls up into a ball, everyone mistakes it for a chestnut still in its prickled flower. One fateful morning, Spiky accidentally punctured a tire in Chestnut Cookie's tricycle. They become inseparable ever since. Sure, Spiky may nibble on the newspapers and ruin a tire or two, but they'll always be the best of pals. <laughs> Imagine that's how you, best f you meet one of your best friends. Like, hey, what the heck, you popped one of my tires. Hey, you want to come along with me? <laughs> I don't know how that works, but I think it's adorable. But they create spiky bear jellies. Create spiky bear jellies on top of basic jellies at certain intervals. Collecting the spiky bear jellies will transform a number of nearby bear jellies into spiky bear jellies. Level up for more points for spiky bear jellies. How many times in that sentence did I say spiky bear jellies? I don't know, but... Also, apparently, you can get away with this with uh, Chestnut being at level 6. I have them at level 8, apparently. Spiky at level 3, and they're magic candy. So, actually, I could honestly get diamond rank and i don't even think i need their costume for this which yes they do have a costume but i think i'll talk about their you know magic candy in the next run but i gotta do this just normal howdy do run first i gotta set everything up would you say the good treasures were egg hot rod treasure i got all those yeah i got all of them like here's the treasure where's the hot rod and egg yeah egg okay sure i think we can get i legit think we can get diamond rank with this it's just in! Read it here! Alright, so tap on the bell thing, and then boop, and boop. Gotta hand in all these to the houses, all these to the mansions. I wonder- I obviously- I know newspapers- papers. I know newspapers still exist to this day, but it's interesting, I don't think they're really profitable anymore, unless if you don't have the internet. But like, how many people nowadays do you like see have like a paper route? Because nowadays, like the internet just like shows you basically everything though granted i'm not sure if it some people will call it reliable it really does depend on like the newsletter that you get it on but uh i will tell you that reminds me there was this, okay i got the potion that scared me uh but there was this one website that i kid you not 
there's no way that they can be real. I'm not trying to, like, shoot shots at anything, but, like, I think there's this one fake news website called Hard Drive, and it just posts, like, comical, like, video game-related, like, news posts, and I think they're just the funniest thing, but whenever I read about that, it's just like, ooh, this looks interesting. Oh, it's from Hard Drive, so it's fake. <laughs> but wouldn't it be funny if you, like, released, like, like, you pulled off, like, a boy who cried wolf thing with, like, a newspaper thing. Like, oh, everything that we post is fake, but the one time they say something is real, no one believes them. Okay. Oh, am I holding a newspaper? Oh, that's cute. Well, I know Chestnut was only, always holding a newspaper, but, like, I meant just, like, when spinning like that. Oh, Chestnut better be careful, though. Imagine if those newspapers just, like, if he dropped the newspapers, like, in this, like, dimension, where would they go? Deliver them to the stars? I don't know. But, okay. Yeah. That's what it says, and also got some Christmas cookies in return. You know what, shout outs to like, not only just shout outs to having anyone for having like a paper route, but shout outs to them having a paper route in like the middle of like the cold freezing winter. Because imagine, like, I can only imagine like, what if the like, bicycle slips on ice, like what if like, they're caught in like a harsh storm, it's scary. It just kind of creeps me out. Well, it doesn't creep me out, but like, yeesh. It's kind of- it's stuff like that, small stuff like that to think about that, you know, makes me iffy on stuff like that. But, okay. We- I don't know what point we would be at at this score range. However, we only need 50 more million points to reach Diamond. No, 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 not even Diamond. Ruby 3. To enter- basically enter the Ruby ranks. Which is good. Because we're getting closer and closer, and we- and even if we just miss it by, like, a minuscule amount, we still have the costume. Which can give us extra points. But hey, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, that's 8 million. That's another 2 million all around. And like, I, I understand, usually when it comes to doing the trials, I always usually do like the first run with the magic candy not equipped. And then I make the magic candy for the cookie the second run. But considering that I already played with Chestnut Cookie for a little bit, I, I apparently had the magic candy with them already. But what I plan to do is I'm probably just going to end up trying to make their magic candy max to like give them like the max opportunity of what they can do but oh it's just looking for oh wait but i do have the egg of the revival so does it really matter oh no because it gets boosted up in the score well i have enough you know i might have enough if my uh if my skill activates again probably will it be enough maybe i don't know it could oh maybe couple million couple million more there it is diamond rank baby let's go we didn't even need to put on a co oh well, okay, I guess we're going again. <laughs> Just for a little bit more. But there we go. We didn't even need the costume, and we reached diamond rank with chestnut cookie. That's amazing. However, of course we're not done yet, because what I intend to do is I'm going to boost up their magic candy. By the way, look at all this. Nice loot, nice rewards, and unfortunately they don't have a hard mode. If they had a hard mode, I would absolutely show that off. But instead, I'm just going to max up... I'm d oh wait, a reward is waiting. Ooh, 200,000 coins. I've been getting a lot of coins anyway from the story mode, and that just makes me happy, but even though I got their diamond rank done, I'm still going to boost up their magic candy, and I'm also going to read off their costume, run with it, and maybe we can get a higher score with it. You're probably going to cost a solid amount of uh, crystals, but pleb it for the season, what do you want? Sure, that's about like a thousand, why not? Let's give it a try. Okay, already level four? Already level... <laughs> That's- that's generous. That's generous. I gotta give that to you, Chestnut. That's very good. Oh, and the- oh, and the best aura on the first one? One th- Don't tell me that's one of the higher ends. That's near one th- <laughs> Alright. Chestnut, you're my favorite. You're- Okay, you're not my favorite cookie, but you are very- You were honestly- I think you're one of the first cookies I ever got. Probably, probably not, but that- You're just really cool. I really appreciate- I just love you. But next, let's also run- with Chestnut Cookie's Heart Warmer, which is plus 5,000 delivery points, which may not seem like much, but anything goes. But the story says here, nope, there are no newspaper deliveries today. Instead, Chestnut Cookie is braving through wind and snow to deliver matches so everyone stays warm for the winter. How heartwarming. I feel like that's a pun, though I'm pretty sure there's a creepy backstory with this costume as well, but let's run while I talk about it. Oh no, this had us ruined too? So here's the thing about this costume as far as I remember. I'm pretty sure that it does it. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure this costume is in reference to a story. Uh, I think it's like the Little Match Girl or something, 
where they had been kicked out, like, into the winter from their, like, abusive family. I could be 100% wrong on this, which is, you know, why I'm scared to, like, mess up from something up, because it's such, like, a serious subject, so I'm sorry. I'm very sorry if I intend to, like, I don't intend to mess anything up, I just, I'm bad at when it comes to remembering the story's details. But I know it has something to do with, like, I think a girl got, like, kicked out of their house during the harsh winter, and the only thing that they could do, I missed that entirely, uh, that was my bad, uh, but the only thing that they had was, like, matches that I think they were supposed to intend to give to someone, but, uh, I'm not sure if they wanted to give it to someone, or they just, the matches were all they had to, uh, keep them warm, and eventually, spoiler alert for the story, uh, kind of died. But I, I, I don't know how else to, like, put it, but the best way for me to put it is just kind of put it bluntly, the, I think the uh, girl in the story died because uh, the freezing eventually got to her, as far as I know. So, yeah, really dark costume to put in the game, but I like how like it's just like, nope, there's no deliveries today. Uh, Chestnut's just delivering some matches. Oh, well, I missed that on. <laughs> I guess I was not on the ball, but eh, whatever. Anyway, let's just get all these treats. I really like the uh, Christmas-specific jellies that they put in levels like this. Like, the candy canes, the stars that they put on top of, like, these jelly trees, uh, the little, like, Christmas cookies. Are, the, are those things of bread up there? What, what did I just see? Like, look at all this Christmas cookies. I can go for some Christmas cookies right now. Like, man. Which, honestly, I have a question. Uh, this is for all of you entities and guardians out there, which... I feel like I definitely should try and be more, uh you know, one-on-one -on -one with, just, like, asking some questions, and then I can also give my input on it, just so, you know, we can all have, like, a good time relating to something in the comments. Oh, I should have gotten that potion. But, if, here's a question that I want to ask you, and you don't have to answer this, but, uh, I just think it'd be fun. What would you describe as your perfect Christmas? So, my perfect Christmas is gonna be pretty interesting, because it would come in two days. Because, uh, like, by, you know, it doesn't, I'm not saying, like, it comes in, like, oh, two days from now. I'm saying, like, there's, like, two days to it. So we first have, you know, normal Christmas Day, December 25th. I wake up, all the families just like having, you know, fun. You know, they're just wide awake. And then we start by, you know, just in, like starting the day off by opening the presents that we got each other. Oh, I also got that pouch, that was skillful. We just open up our presents, we see what we got for each other. So, we, it's not even one of those things where like, uh, you know, we build up the day until we get to the presents. No, uh, we basically, like, start off the day with the presents, so we can spend basically the rest of the day, like, or at least the majority of the rest of the day, just, like, you know, checking out what we got, like, experiencing the stuff that we got, and we can also experience them for, like, the days to come. And then after that, we would, like, you know, just spend some time together, you know, just... Sometimes we would do our own stuff, but we also just get to talk to each other, like, family, just get to hang out. And then after that, we have this big, like, Christmas tea thief this big feast you know like you know turkey like some stuff that you would get like thanksgiving but also like ham and like delicious food and then you can't forget that you would like make these uh cool cookies with the family and like it would just be a fun time all around i feel like i got no no wait i got like a 12 or million points so that's pretty cool and then uh the next day just to put it bluntly uh basically that's when we hang out with other members of the family, like, going to other, like, friends of people's house just so we can spend Christmas with them. And it's just a fun time. But as you can see, got some stuff in the pouches. <laughs> same rarity, but... Same rewards, different rarity bags. But there we go. Now, you think this is where I'd end the video, but there is one more thing I want to show you. The last thing that I want to show is the replay button. This, like I said at the very beginning of the video, shows a cutscene. And it involves, as far as I remember, chestnut cookie and pudding cookie. Now, there's actually two parts of this cutscene as far as I know, or there could be more. But you can actually view the second part the moment that I do Pudding Cookies Trial. And once I do the video on Pudding Cookies Trial, you know I'm going to show the second part of the cutscene. But firstly, let's obviously just do this. And then soon in the future, I will do a video, uh, very soon in the future specifically, just so I can make sure that these stories aren't far apart from each other. I will do a video on Pudding Cookies Trial. I'm pretty sure it's Pudding Cookie. I'm going to go back and check just to make sure I am not wrong and I'm being an idiot. Yes, it is Pudding Cookie. Pug Am I saying putty Pudding Cookies Trial? Okay, let's just start with the cutscene. Chapter 1. A Fateful Meeting. Extra! Extra! Read all about it! Today's exciting news! Right here! Screech. Oh! Wow! What an awesome festive tree! It's that time of the year again already? Everyone's excited for the holidays! It's good to see so many smiles. Huh. Well, 
I can work hard and smile too. Aw. <laughs> Bump. Huh? What's this colorful ball thingy? Uh, hey, you dropped this. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. Holiday, holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, um, uh, ha happy holidays. I'm putting it. What's your name? Well, m my name's Chestnut Cookie. Are you getting ready for the holidays? Yep. Yeah. I'm getting your presents ready for all the cookies. Because I want to be Santa Claus. Hey, hey. Did you know about, uh, you know, how to be Santa Claus? Huh. Hmm. Santa uh, Claus visits every house and delivers presents, right? So that must mean Santa Claus knows where everyone lives. Oh. It's so cool. And, and he delivers all those presents in just one night. Whoa. Hey, hey, I, I, I have an idea. You can show me where all the cookies live. Me? Huh? Me? Yeah. You look like you know everyone. And you have a fast bike too. Well, I mean, I guess I do know lots of cookies. But I need to deliver these papers. So, I can't go. But I can't go alone. I'm too little to go around by myself. And, you know, the village all by myself. I can't do that. Well, I mean, yeah, you'd probably get lost in these streets. Hmm. How about this? You want to tag along while I finish my delivery route in town? Really? Yeah, yeah. That's putting cookies just so adorable. Paper delivery! Hot off the press! This is Urban Cookie's greenery. Hey, Mr. Herb Cookie! Happy holidays! <laughs> ah, thank you. I'm growing some winter flowers, so come, please come visit by and soon and say hi. Say hello to Muscle Cookie's gym! Happy holidays, Mr. Muscle Cookie! <laughs> These gyms always open, even over the holidays. Whoa! What's that over there? It's where Sparkling Cookie is. Oh, oh, Mr. Sparkling Cookie! Happy holidays! <laughs> Thank you very much, and to you as well. I didn't know so many cookies lived this close together. I think we need to hang on this. Newsflash! Breaking news, folks! F what? Have you heard? Ginger Claus will be at Town Square tonight. Really? Oh, joy! I want to be friends with Ginger Claus. G Ginger Claus? The real Ginger Claus? Jumped up and down. Come on, let's go to the Town Square. I want to ask Ginger Claus so many things! Just like, okay, you, 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 you'll go with me this time too, right? Huh? Oh, oh y yes, of course. And that's basically, it cuts off right there. However, as you can see, if I move over to Pudding Cookies Trial, it will say, if I'm going the correct order, if I don't get lost, <laughs> I'm getting lost, I'm panicking, I'm confused, oh, there, there, there. It says over there, replay. That means if I hit that button, it will show you chapter two of this whole event, which it will involve Pudding Cookie and Chestnut Cookie, and it will also involve Ginger Claws. No spoilers though, because you're going to have to wait on that video. But for now, I'm going to end this video right here. If you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to leave a like on it, and also share with your friends more uh, Cookie Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet, or you want to, Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, I have merchandise in the description before I check it out. I'm not forced to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype news!